Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 15A and uh, 15B at the same time, okay? Uh, please, if you're hearing any voice, any child's voice at the background, that's my son playing in the other room. <laughs> Just a disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so the question says um, the data file gym.csv uh, will be used both to create a database and a spreadsheet. Select the most appropriate uh, validation type for the month field in this uh, data. Okay, so for this question, obviously, from here you can see that the best um, uh, validation check will be the range check. Okay, the range check will be the best, so it's going to make sure that within the month uh, field uh, you're going to have simply between 1 and 12. Okay, so that you're going to use this validation check right there, right. Okay, so that's for that. So, of course, a ring check is the best because a length check would, would check the number of figures. Obviously, two, but of course, it's, it's, not, it's not good. It will still accept the 13 and 14, which may be wrong. So, uh, ring check is the best, right? So, let's move over to now we know that ring check is best for uh, tax 15. A. So let's look at task 15B. So it says create a database with the file gym.csv validate the month field. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is to import this file into database and then I will, I will explain uh, one or two things. All right. So let's, um, what I'm going to do is to, let me see, uh, let, let me go to my file. Let me go to my work. Uh, file 15 so I want to create a database right there uh, um, let me create a database right there so I want to call it uh, activity sorry activity uh, 15 sorry not activity sorry what am I saying task 15 a task 15 a and uh, uh, let me just put 15b also right there something like that okay let me put it underscore let me put underscore in between so i want to have it so i want to open that okay um yeah so what i want to do i want to import the file gym.csv right here so i want to go to external uh to file from text so i want to look for the file um I think the file should be desktop and then from uh, Cambridge IGCC, the, uh, IGCC, um, ICT. So I'm going to have uh, this. Okay. So, of course, this is uh, detailed. This process is detailed in chapter 18, I think. So, chapter 18 will be where you're going to look at um, access in detailed. So, I want to be sure that everything is correct here. So, I think I'm good. So I don't want primary key, all right? So I can go ahead and then finish up here. Okay, so I have the data in um, access here. Now, what the question says, when you look at the month uh, field here, month runs from one to 12, all right? It runs from one to 12. So, which means that the, the information or the data we want in this column will always be between 1 to 12, okay? Just to restrain it from month 1 to 12 months, right? So, we want to put a validation in here that will accept only numbers between 1 and uh, uh, one and 12, right? So, you want to go to your design view here. I want to go home and then go to my design view. I want to ensure that the data type of the month will be is number. Don't make it text because if you make it text, it's going to start taking the small places, right? We don't want um long. I mean, the the small places or floating point numbers, right? So uh, month. So I want to go down to validation rule right here. So make sure you click on the month right there. So I want to have additional rule. So the validation rule is going to be um, greater than greater than zero and uh, less than has to be less than 13 something like this okay and then uh, we want to have we want to validation text we want to have a text that will show whenever there's an error right so let me just write oops uh let me just write something like this invalid data invalid data uh impute 
number between uh, 1 and 12, something like this. So let me also put the exclamation mark here. I'm sorry, let me just uh, spell it right. Okay, good stuff. So I'm going to go back, save my changes. Yes. Okay, data integrity rules are. So this means that if you have any number in that column that is uh, less than uh, uh, 1 or greater than uh, 12, probably you might lose the data, right? So, but of course we don't. So we're good. So um, now in this column, we put a data validation here that will make sure that only the data between 1 and 12 will be accepted. So if I put something like 13 here, it's going to have that um, information here. So it will not allow you to put anything um, outside the boundary of the validation check, right? So even if I put a, a floating point, maybe 2.5, it's going to knock off the decimal place and then just give me 2, right? So that's um, how the validation check will be done, right? So I think that does it for um, question 15, I'm sorry, task 15 and uh, 15 A and B, all right? Thank you so much. If you have any comment, if you have any addition, please leave a comment down below. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.